So today we're going to be going over the Battle Royale mode that was recently added to Korea. Uh, I think pretty much everyone on this planet has at least checked out or played Fortnite once, so you're familiar with this type of game mode. Just a ton of players on a huge map and you all fight each other and the map gets smaller and smaller over time and there's little power-ups inside uh, the map and everything like that. Very interesting that it's actually coming to MRBG. I think this is the first time it's ever been done. I've seen a lot of shooter games added to the system just because it kind of naturally works with that type of game, but very interesting that it's going to be coming to this type of genre. Of course, eventually this update will hit North America and Europe sometime in 2019. So just wanted to cover it, give some basic information on how it works, uh, how you can join it. Is it, you know, gear based or is it gear equalized like the arena? So a lot of information to cover. So let's jump into it right now. The only way to join Battle Royale mode is to do it like you would do for Cold Rates Layer. So there would be an icon pop up in the bottom right corner. You would just click it and you instantly be teleported to this area right here that you see. Um, I don't know if they're going to eventually make some type of team play for the Battle Royale mode, but personally for me, I don't really think I like to see team uh, modes just because like, I feel like it could get really broken. Like You could assemble some really OP teams. Like With this many classes in one mode, like could you imagine like freaking 10 Blade Dancers using Phantom Drip? Like, I don't know. I feel, I feel like it could get a little crazy, um, so I don't really want to see some type of team play. I'd rather just keep it solo play and maybe duo play, like maybe join with like a... A friend or maybe even four people like how Fortnite has four people maximum in your party uh, but a huge like group of people I don't really think would be a great idea also if you look at the top right you'll see the circle that is getting smaller and smaller on the screen till you'll see it and eventually it'll get so small that you have to fight every player on the map and the reason why they do this is because if they did it, a lot of players would probably just camp because it's such a big map in a battle royale mode like there would probably be players who just like sit in one building and just like wait for people to come this says, hey, you know what, you have to be inside the circle, so you're going to eventually run into players because it's going to get so small that you'll have to fight everyone. And that's a good way to keep it more competitive and keep the game mode going by fast. Uh, Fortnite has this exact same thing where it's called the Storm. I don't know what it'll be called in the Blaine Soul version, but it's cool that they are adding that because it could get really annoying if someone's just like hiding in like a freaking rock for like 20 minutes and you're like, can I just fight some people? So I'm glad they are keeping that. It just keeps it game mode going faster and more competitive for sure so i know a lot of you guys are probably wondering is this game mode gear equalized and it is and i'm very happy about this because they could have made it full you know pay to win just have the best gear like the battlegrounds but they said you know what we're gonna make it gear equalized like the arenas the 1v1s and the 3v3s so i'm a huge fan of this change because it makes it way more fun for everyone you can literally just join on any level character i think the minimal level is like 16 which is kind of weird because it's exactly like the arena where you can join on like a low level character you don't even have to be 55 which is kind of surprising to me uh, but you can join on any type of character have low gear and you still have fun and fight people and have a fair chance so i love this change a lot Really, really happy that they didn't make it gear based. I can't stress that enough because they definitely could have done that. And then you'll see you'll run into certain players like this and just go into like a 1v1 mode. Of course, there'll be players that you can run into that might double team up on you or fight you, who knows. And then you'll see the little power up icon right there. Now, of course, I don't really know what all the power ups do. I've seen a few. Some of them might launch you up in the air. I'm assuming some of them might give you like some buffs, like maybe poisoning the enemy that you're fighting. Maybe uh, gives you like iframes. I'm not really sure on the buffs, but they're little power ups you can pick up, which is really useful and you know something that is a staple of battle royale modes. Overall, I don't really know how I feel about this battle royale mode. Like, I feel like anyone playing Blade and Soul, like before this was announced, I don't think anyone was like, you know what, we really need in Blade and Soul above everything else is a battle royale mode like Fortnite. Like, is this such a weird and unexpected like addition to the game? Um, I guess, you know, just to capitalize off the hype of Fortnite, maybe it'll be successful, but I definitely will keep an open mind, you know, I'll check it out just because it is gear equalized. I feel like that is a very generous and nice thing of them to do because I, I really was thinking it was going to be freaking like the battlegrounds, that's what I expected, but that is a nice little thing that they did do so you can hop in, have some fun, you don't have to worry about, you know, like freaking dude with Grand Celestial Stage 3 just one-shotting you. Um, so that is pretty cool. Honestly though, like I hate to be that guy, but I just feel like the time and money they invested into probably making this game mode, they could have made like time into fixing the current issues that Blaine Soul has. Like we all know Blaine Soul has a ton of freaking issues that the community has been talking about for quite a while now. And a lot of them still haven't been addressed. So I just feel like you really should be prioritizing the stuff that should be fits first and then adding like a game mode that no one really asked for. Um, so I'm not really a fan of this like again I'll keep an open mind and check it out but I, I'm not really super hyped for it 
Um, there's a meme on the Blade and Soul Reddit right now where it's like a fish tank and it has a list of all the issues of Blade and Soul. And it's like, it has a crack in it, right? And it's gushing all this water out. And then there's a picture of a guy with a hand putting uh, like a small band-aid on the crack of the fishing tank. And the meme is like the, the band-aid says battle royale mode. So basically what Blade and Soul is doing is the game slowly dying and getting all messed up and jacked up. And instead of fixing the current issues that we have with the game, they're just like putting a band-aid over it and saying, here's a new battle royale mode, guys. Check it out. So really just trying to just sum up my thoughts. I'm not super hyped about the update, but I'm not against it either. So it's just kind of like meh for me. Um, you know, 2019 has so many big updates like Unreal Engine 4, uh, Class Awakenings. Like the battle royale mode is kind of last on the list for me in terms of hype. Um, with the rewards, they look kind of okay. They really re resemble like something like Tower Infinity. Where it's just like XP charms, fortune potions, just kind of like decent stuff. Uh, maybe it scales like if you get like a ton of kills, you get way better rewards. But it doesn't seem like there's anything groundbreaking like kill 10 people and get like 100 moonstones. Like this is totally worth doing all the time. Like I feel like it's just going to be a mode that if you really enjoy it, you can do it. But there's nothing crazy about it where you have to do it. Which I think is a good thing. I don't really think making PvE players do PvP content is a really great idea. I'm looking at you since we since Battlegrounds. Anyways, that's enough of me talking. Let me know what you guys think about the update in the comments. If you really enjoyed the video, make sure to like and also subscribe. We're trying to hit that 2K before 2019. 2K subs before 2019, that's the goal. So hopefully we can reach that. I think we can. Uh, last but not least, also join the Discord channel in the description. I'll leave a link. A uh, ton of fun people, nice people in there. You can join ask questions really quickly i answer most of the time or someone else will answer for you so really great community make sure you join that if you have it and thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video real soon